Hey guys, it's me Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Now today we have something completely, totally, utterly different. After watching storage wars for 5,000 years, I decided now I want to get a storage unit. And since having a YouTube channel that can make things, these crazy things happen, I decided to do it. I bet on, or bid, I bid on tons of them. Now here in Jacksonville, they don't really have any auctions. It's just like online bidding and it's on storagetreasures.com. I'll link it down below. You can check and see if there's some in your area if you want to check it out. Um, so I bid on lots of them. Some of them got removed because the tenants came and paid for, which is that's great. I mean, I'm glad they got their stuff back. And then I bid on this one. Well, I bid on two today. Thank God I didn't get the other one because it was across town. <laughs> it would have been really, really cheap. Then I bid on this one. I have a feeling it's going to be lots of trash stuff. <laughs> But you know, it's my first time doing it. I wanted to get one that had tons and tons of totes in it, but this one does not. It seems like it might be a lot of baby stuff. I ended up paying $80 for it. And it's crazy, like I just got off work. This place closes at six. And now I guess they're out for lunch or something. So now I'm gonna sit here and wait for them to come back for lunch and then film the whole process. It did say no filming unless you ask management, but I'm worried if I ask, then they're gonna say no and that I can't do it. So I'd rather like, just don't tell them and maybe just film inside. So I'm hoping we get some gems that we could put into the flea market. I'm hoping there's gonna be some good stuff. If there's not, you know what? It was an experience, I tried it. I was gonna come tomorrow after work, but you have to pay within the 24 hours. So if I, in 24 hours, once I won, I would have been at work working. So this is the only time to do it is tonight. I'll be getting home later than I'd like to, but it is what it is, but I'm excited. So I probably get another 20 minutes set in the car. Let's keep the fingers crossed. We're gonna get at least a couple gems. We'll see. See you soon. And so here it is. I think I'm bitten off more than I can chew. Now I'm a little nervous. <laughs> it's really dark in there too, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I didn't bring my big tripod. I just brought my little tiny one. So we'll see. Here we go. Sorry if the lighting's gonna be bad on this one. It just, it is what it is. <laughs> Luckily, my neighborhood has a dumpster outside, you know, so I don't have to worry about it. So the first thing I'm getting is any type of bedding and stuff, I'm not going to keep because obviously it could be bed bugs, could be something like that. We got little, I don't know if I can sell that. It probably goes to something special. So I'm not sure I'll that in the maybe pile. A little basket. That's kind of cute. That's a keeper. <laughs> These gloves are really, really ridiculous, trying to work in them. More things for the mobile. I'm not sure if they let you throw your stuff away here or not. More mobile stuff. This is like the legit pair of nylons. This is going to be the worst. Here we got a blanket. Must be their baby blanket. I mean, I possibly could wash that and put it in with the stuff. I feel like this is going to be a hot mess. Another little baby thing. I probably won't keep any of these. I might wash them and donate them. Worst lighting ever. I'm going to put this over here. These are pretty much all just baby clothes. Baby, um... So that's not something that I'm interested in. I wonder if lighting would be better if I was in the other way. Much better. I'm not trying to get in trouble because I know you're not supposed to film here. Look, a cosmetic organizer. This is $5. Brand new in there. I could totally sell that. Maybe for like $3 or $2. That's a keeper. Some incense. A lighter. Does it still work? Nope. <laughs> and then all the rest in here is all just toiletries, like mini pads. Hydrogen peroxide, some Garnier whole blends, but who knows how long it's been here, so I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. Baby oil, so this will all be trash. Incense burner. And then, this is gonna be taking a lot longer than I thought it did. Now I did find in here some personal information, which I will have to bring back to the front, so I'll have to go through that later. And I don't know, just like pens and watches. It's probably gonna be the funnest video I've ever seen in your life. Yeah, anything that has the person's name and stuff on it. There is a watch in here. 
says diesel. I may have to look it up. But otherwise, everything else in here. It does marker work. I'm keeping it. Let's see. It does. Keeping this, keeping this one. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's all these speaker wires and speaker stuff in here, which I don't think I really want anything to do with wires and things like that. Ooh. Keeping that for myself. But yeah, everything else in here is just wires and things, which I might let Rob look through because he does like um wires. We also have two speakers over here that said they were $9.99 on the bottom. So like this speaker, I guess, is for an LG. And then this one's a Sony, but I don't know if they work, so I'm not going to worry about that at all either. And then this bag full of just miscellaneous stuff also. <laughs> Nothing, nothing I'm going to keep. Belt. The belt name, I might keep it. I think it has a tag on it still. It does. Oh, these are bracelets. So we got three bracelets that still have the tags on them. That's pretty good. All right, so I'm going to start loading up a little bit and getting us a little more room, and then we'll move on. I've not even made a dent. So this right here is all full of baby clothes, which I will donate. And then this is just an empty bucket, which I will use for trash. Let's try to make things a little bit easier. And then we have this right here, which I made a new thing of pads. I can sell that. Two new things of pads. And this from Dara Peach. These look like and whatnot. I know I took my gloves off, but it's just really hard to work with the gloves. Cotton breast pads. Made like yourself. I am a mom with a very hungry caterpillar still in the thing. Sell that. I think there's some heavy stuff at the bottom. I don't have to go through all of this in the time I need to. And then we have this bag in here. Which I'm going to use this bag for trash. And... Pretty much the only things in here besides trash is this cover. I'm guessing for something. So all this is gonna be trash. What's the next box? This one's heavy. This one's heavy. Hope there's some good stuff. We got best dad ever. I mean, it looks new. Maybe keep that. It looks like probably just like old bills. Thing of tissue paper. Keep that. I don't think you have to give them back bills. You just have to give them back um, IDs or things like that. Playing a lotto. More bills and stuff. What's the heavy thing in here? More bills. Walmart receipt. Ooh, big whiteout. Brand new. Still in the thing. I'm getting a little excited now, guys. This is the after delivery stuff. Um. Yeah, there's lots of things in here that no personal information. I don't know what this is. State college. I don't know. Maybe I should save the state college stuff and the birth stuff in case they want that back. Is your, your baby speaking to you? That was pretty much like decently new. Selling that. Question about the product trash. Community researchers. I don't think you need that, so that'll be trash. Hmm. This has a little bit of wear and tear on it. What is the heavy thing in here? I'm just gonna sift through the trash. This is kind of beat up and looks kind of crappy. Looks like everything else. Receipts. What was the heavy thing? <laughs> Alright, I need a break again. I really should have brought my big tripod, but I didn't because I think the lady saw my thing and she didn't say anything. So I'm going to go through some things that I already know I'm not keeping. All these mattress pads. That's one thing you don't keep from a food unit because you don't know if there's bed bugs or anything crazy. But there's like tons of mattress pads from her child. And one of these things, I don't know if they call that. But you don't really want to keep that stuff. There's another one over here. Now we got a car seat holder, but these, who knows if it's like up to par for nowadays. We got lots of stuff. 
I don't know how I'm going to make it through here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe I'm just going to go through for a little bit and then find things, gems. That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go through, find some gems, and then we'll move on. All right, guys, I'm getting a little worried. <laughs> my whole entire trunk is filled with trash. I have a thing over there that will probably in a little bit more fit in my car as trash, and I haven't even made a dent on the place. This is definitely be a two-day thing. Oh, I'm going to need help. There's some things back there that I don't think will even fit in my car. Maybe I can beg them to let me use their dumpster. Anyway, so I'll do with these later, but I found a bunch of like phone cases that are kind of like neat and elaborate. I don't know what phone is for. This right here, 50 cents. Um, tons of these fossil bracelets. Tons of them. And this is uh, a new like and tons of diapers. So diapers, the diapers galore. I found this cute little diaper bag that looks in really good condition. Um, I don't know, these little storage bags. And I figured this is the American Navy. I guess I'll have 50 cents. But the problem is now that I don't know how I'm getting this all in my car. Not today. Do I, I only have like, I think an hour that I could be here. So do I drive home, take all the stuff in my dumpster and then drive back? I have no lock for this thing, so... It's just going to be open. I really don't know what to do. I really don't know. We'll see. Alright guys, so I'm at work right now. Um, I didn't film at the end of the first day because I was dead. I'm now at the point of thinking of this as more like a workout. <laughs> like an $80 hardcore workout than me making millions. <laughs> Not that I thought I was going to make millions. So much baby stuff. It looks like this woman saved every baby outfit that her kid ever had. And from the pictures I saw, the child looked like he was like 10 now. So I don't know if he, she was just saving all this stuff in case she had another kid. I really, I mean, I really don't know. There was like used breast pumps. Um, I mean, tons of like used things that can't, you know, you're not gonna donate that stuff because it's just weird. <laughs> you know, if it was on somebody else's body. Um, I found a bunch of her like I, old IDs, credit cards, that all that stuff I brought back to the front because you have to bring anything that's like their stuff. I'm going again after work, after a five and a half hour day on my feet, <laughs> and we're going to try to bust it out. I do have another day that if I can't get it done, because there's some big stuff in the back that I did not know were there, which I don't even know if I'm going to fit in my car. I don't know if Rob's going to come help me today. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just lucky that I have a dumpster in my neighborhood or <laughs> this would not be working out well for me. I don't know if I'll ever do this again, <laughs> but what I'll do is when we get there, um, I'll show you kind of what it's looking like right now and kind of how we go through the whole process. And then when it's totally done, I think that is when I'm gonna break down and show you all the things that I kept and the things that I kept for myself and the things that I think that I could sell. I mean, all in all, I mean, I was straight dying after work doing that. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure today is going to be another straight dying day, but you know what? Workout. I needed to get a workout. I'm feeling a little fit today, a little sore. So one more day is going to be crazy. And also I got a zit. I got a storage zit. <laughs> so I went all crazy with my eye makeup today so that <laughs> people won't look at my zit. <laughs> anyway, so next time you see me, we're going to be back at the storage unit. Wait, I forgot to say one thing. <laughs> so. I, after yesterday, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never gonna be able to finish this. Maybe I should have just abort the mission, let them just keep my deposit of $100, let them take care of it. So I went downstairs to tell her that as like sweat's pouring down me. And she was like, well, if you, you know, default, not only do they take your $100 deposit, but you also get banned from storage treasures. <laughs> and I'm like, do I want to ever do this again? But what happens if I do? Then I'll want to not be banned. So I'm gonna try my best. If today doesn't go well, I might abort, but we're just to see. All right, so snag me one of these, which they're in a hot commodity. This lady just handed it to me. Thank God. This is how far I've gotten. I know it doesn't look like I've gotten far, but I brought a lot to the front. This is going to be a lot. Can I do it all today? Now this right here, these are the one on the bottom is filled with clothes, and it's just way too heavy. So I'm going to start putting it in other bags. I think I'm going to start up here, just start taking things out. There are a few things I'm going to keep besides the ones I already took. But like I said, I haven't even made it to the back yet. We'll see how much I can get accomplished today. All right, so this is after taking the first trip. Um, all this is trash. Like this lady, all the clothes are disgusting. All the bedding's disgusting. I don't know what's going on. 
Rob's here too. We're hopefully going to try to get this section in his car. I mean, if legit all the stuff is the same stuff I've been finding, then there's going to be no more good stuff. All the good stuff I have behind here besides the stuff that's at my house. I don't know. I think it might take two more loads, but we really want to get it done today so we don't have to come back tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm telling you, like, everything is dirty and trash. There's all old bedding. This one I just opened up is a little Tupperware. The only Tupperware that actually has something going on. Oh, wait. I'm going to keep that. I mean, you can't go wrong with a bunch of paper. Obviously, like I said, when I get home, I'm going to go through and show you guys everything. Oh, a brand new thing of tissue paper. So that's the market. Is that a brand new card for Christmas? Yes, it is. <laughs> I'm getting excited about like the silliest, stupid stuff. Like you don't even believe it. So yeah, I'm just going to keep going through it. Me and Rob will hopefully be able to do this in one to two trips. I am already beat, but you know, it is what it is. That is all going for sure. <laughs> There's a printer up there. I'm pretty sure it's crud. It's going to be a day, but we're getting it done today. I promise. All right, back to it. I am already beat, <laughs> but like I got excited because this one said living room. So I was like, oh, it said fragile. Turns out just tons of shoes, <laughs> tons of tons of shoes. And I don't really think that it's even worth like digging through. Like, I'm not going to try to sell used people's shoes there. And then more clothes over here, more kitchen stuff. That's all dirty and I got two wine glasses out of there. We're almost cleared out. Not that we're actually gonna be able to get it entirely into the car. But we're, our goal is maybe to bring it all downstairs so that then when we come back we can just like be done with this place. Because even though this is climate controlled, they lied. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. It's like climate controlled down there in the hallway over there, but not right here. <laughs> not right here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna finish looking through. Wait, let me grab a couple more boxes. And we'll go through them together right quick. Oh, we're very unsure if we're gonna fit this in the car. <laughs> I'm coming. If I get one more box of clothes, I swear. Now in this one, we got a whole bunch of just nasty, gross pots and pans. Nothing any Benny. And there's a spider. And a spider. 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 by him and then this one now I need to say I did get some new stuff so I mean did I get eight of the world before the stuff no I'm pretty sure no did I get an adventure and kind of tell myself that I'm probably never gonna do this again because no way I could have driven from any other place with this one back to my house got a thing of poofs oh but they're brand new brand new poofs keep them a wig <laughs> lots of wigs <laughs> they're fast and bad though I'd even be cute to put stuff in for the flea market. Keeping that. And lots and lots of more wigs. Tons of wigs. This is all wigs. Wigs and a few other things. And extra holes styling gel, but I don't think that sounds like extra holes styling gel. Looks like a pumice for your feet. <laughs> the rhyme and reasons of these boxes, I can't even tell you. We are legit almost done. I think I have like two boxes left. So let me grab the last two boxes and then, oh, oh. Now this is actually a playpen that has been opened and that'd be awesome. So in here, a diaper thing. Well, we do have a bunch of books. Oh, it's written up to Eric. Love your Niku nurse. Oh, Niku nurse. Oh, yes, he's in the Niku. So we got a bunch of books. I'll probably salvage a few of them. Creating websites. The Bible. <laughs> I mean, this brand new almost. So I'll probably get, grab a couple books out of those to save. And then this looks like brand new. You think it's brand new? Please, never been open. Oh my god, guys, we have a score! We have finally gotten a score! So this is a brand new, what is it? Bat 4-in-1 bassinet. So 4-in-1 bassinet, brand new. That is our first and only score this whole entire time. I don't know what this is worth. Maybe $80. Maybe I can get it at the flea market. Alright, time to take my sweaty butt and get all this stuff downstairs. Get it out of here. 
get us out of here, and hopefully tonight we can have date night. And yet again, probably tomorrow I'll show you all the things that I actually kept. We're also in the process of taking this apart after we bring the next load down, and I'm actually going to keep this because this is nice. I mean, I can put it on the back porch, use it in the bedroom for more filming stuff, but yet again, everything, I mean, look, we did it. Minus some few things we have to, but that's all trash right there. That's all trash right there. But we did it. I'm very proud of myself. I want to die, but I'm very proud of myself. Alright, so now today is the next day. I am super duper sore. Like, I can't even tell you how sore I am. It is just going to be a rough couple days. <laughs> so now to see the fruits of my labor, my spoils. Well, first thing we all know, this Graco 4-in-1 bassinet was the score of a find. So I was looking online and it sells for between 150 and 180. So this right here will pay for the storage. Obviously not all, all the labor I did, but it'll pay for the storage. So that's a good sign. Otherwise everything else is kind of just like whatever stuff. Some stuff I'm actually going to keep for myself. And then some I'll um, put into the flea market. So I did keep this tissue paper. I mean, it's probably like 50 cents, but I'll probably use it myself. Brand new pack of uh, pads. I'll have to sell those at the flea market. Another brand new, brand new pair set. And then you remember a long time ago we saw these. This is $5. I could probably sell it for like $2 at the flea market. I'm going to keep all this computer paper. That's all for me. I feel like there's more stuff too, but I don't even... Oh, shoot. There's a whole other box. All right. There's too much stuff in the box, so we're just going to do the box after I do all this stuff. Um, yes, I'm at PJs. I'm tired today. <laughs> I found this little basket. I thought it was cute. I could maybe put things in it for the flea market. And maybe even possibly these. I know that when I was in the storage unit, I called these bracelets. But Rob has told me that these are now watch bands. <laughs> I did not know. But she, like, obviously really loved Fossil. So we have, like, all of these are completely brand new. And the tags on them, the ones that have tags, I think they say, see, this one she got on sale for, like, $12.99. This one she got on sale for $9.99. But then some of them say, actually, like, $20, but she got them on sale for $9.99. But there's some that actually say $20. It looks like this one she got on sale for... $4.99, but I said maybe I could sell them for like $3 a piece, and there's like tons of them. Tons. She loved her watch band. <laughs> so I'll probably sell those for like $3 a piece. Maybe I'll even put them in the basket. Watch bands. <laughs> Galore. And then she had this fossil watch, which I don't know if I should try to sell things, and I don't know if they work or not, but I might try. And then there was this watch that was diesel. So there's a diesel watch in there, so I don't know. And there was a collection of markers and pens that I'm going to keep for myself. There also was a almost empty thing of Febreze, but I can use it. And then the plethora of phone cases. Now, Rob might have to tell me what phones these are for, but I'm guessing it's probably an iPhone. Um, so we got this one, all these fun. And they look like pretty much brand new. This is a Kate Spade. More of these ones that move around. Somebody likes Hello Kitty. I mean, that's dramatic. This one, this one's Chanel. I haven't even looked at these yet. This one right here. So if, I'll look through them all and I, like this one's got some like tape and stuff on here. Maybe something was stuck to it before and now it's not there. So I don't know if I'll sell that one. This one, this one. These are dramatic, huh? And then this one looks like it has a little damage on it. So I probably won't sell this one. It's got some damage. But a lot of, oh, one more. And then an otter box. So I thought they had a front on it. This is a fossil, but it's got some uh, wear and tear to it. Here's another Kate Spade, but this one's got a little wear and tear to it. You know, all these ones have a little wear and tear. I guess I haven't looked at these yet. This is also Kate Spade. Is that a phone number? <laughs> this one right here. And then the last one is also Kate Spade. So I'll go through these and see which ones are good and which ones aren't. I took this, I don't know. American Navy. But maybe I could put a dollar on it, clean it up. Then this diaper bag, I don't know who makes it, but it seemed like good quality. Oh, it's by Baby Boom. It's got a little bit of like marking at the bottom, but otherwise everywhere else it is perfect. So I might try to clean it up a little bit and then sell that. Then there was a plethora of movies. I don't know if I'll just sell these for a dollar, maybe two dollars, depending. We got Finding Nemo, Happy Feet, Looney Tunes, and Transformers. So we got those. Then we got some books. 
This one, like I said, was brand new, still like, like that. These all are kind of brand new. This is a dream interpretation book. Rip it, write it, draw it book. And is your baby speaking to you? Those will all be like decent sellers. And then I grabbed these since they were still in the thing. I was like, hey, throw them in the 50 cent bin. Now the funny thing is there was a printer. So there was an HP printer and Rob's like, that printer's better than our printer, we should take it. And I was like, I just don't even want to deal with it. And then I forgot that there was ink in the darn thing. <laughs> and the printer's at the dumpster. Do I want to go dumpster diving and try to get it back? I might. I'm not sure. Either that or I'll sell these because ink is expensive. Then I found these storage bags for milk. It looks like it's completely full. So I'll try and sell that too. And then, I mean, come on. A brand new thing of white out. <laughs> and then there was this right here. I like silver. So I think I'm just going to keep it for myself. I'm keeping a lot of stuff. And then, I don't know, there's two batteries in there. So I took them. <laughs> Why not? And then, I mean, come on. I never use those. <laughs> I took one hanger. <laughs> then let's get into her purses that I took. So this one looked really cool. I'm not up on brand names, but it looked like almost brand new. So that's nice. This one looked cool. I mean, really cool. You can put it on your arm like this or inside. I mean, this one's brand new too. There's a chain for it. This was brand new. Now, a lot of her purses had rips and stains, and I have no clue why she would have packed it, but she did. A lot of her stuff has stains. And this right here is Kate Spade, and it's for some sort of tablet or something. <laughs> I'll probably try to clean it up a little bit, but Kate Spade is a really, really good name brand. And obviously, she loves her fossil. So we got a fossil clutch, and it looks pretty much like brand new. Then there was this bag right here. I don't know who makes it, but it also has a strap inside and looks completely brand new. I do feel bad for her because, like, I mean, obviously she knew she had time to get it. That's how they do it. And this one had a little bit of wear and tear. This is actually the first thing I found of purses, and this is Fossil. A little bit of wear and tear, but nothing, like, ridiculous. And the inside, there's also a little bag that goes with it. I thought that was good. And then this bag, also Fossil. I thought it was nice. It definitely has been used a little bit. Oh, there's a, what is that in there? A key light holder. <laughs> um, so I might like spray some Febreze in it, let it air out a little bit, but otherwise the outside is really, really nice. Like a really nice, like durable material. Got that. And then we had diapers, whole packs of diapers. Now this one is the, um, let me see this one, Little Journey. Then there's a couple packs that just had a one on them. So I'm guessing they're size one. And I'll just put them for, I mean, I'll do these probably for very cheap. Just like I do the uh, Depends and stuff like that. Because if people really need diapers, they should have their diapers. And then this pamper size one, whole big box, completely full, completely sealed. And then I found this, which I didn't go through yet, but it's full of belts. So let's, let's go through a few, a few of them. I like the bag. I thought the bag was kind of neat with the wooden handle right here going all the way through. Well, let's go through a few of the belts, see if maybe we got belts we can sell. I mean, this looks, who makes this? I don't know, but this looks almost brand new too. Let's grab out like five. This one's different, but it does have a little bit more wear and tear to it. So that'll be a no-go. That's a different one. A little wear and tear, but it still looks pretty new, but it is a little, I may have to put like some books or stuff on top of it to try to stretch it back out the way it used to be. So they're all just shoved in here. What is this? Look at this one. That's hardcore. Now this one definitely is all twisted up. Not sure if I'll try to bring it back to life. That is different. <laughs> Look at that thing. Seems brand new. Let's see, one more. And then I'll go through the rest later. Oh, what is it up? Looks like this was a necklace. Look at those but it's missing some pieces, obviously. I like those though, that's pretty. Um, and this one, it's all, you know, it's hard to get these back into shape when you're, put them all like that. So I'll see about that. I'll go through all these, like there's a lot of them in there. And I'll figure out what's what. Is that another necklace? Oh, it's a crucifix, keep that. 
Um, so now I'm going to maneuver all this around and then grab the box. And the box is going to be kind of the stuff I found like along the way or some of the heavier stuff. I think it's more the aftermath, after the bags, after the stuff I found that stuff. So then we'll take a look at that and I'll go after that. We'll do all my final thoughts and will I do it again? All right, I got the box. And if you think of it this way, I know I could probably at least get $80 for this right here. So it's already paid for it. And I probably have over 80 items that I'm keeping to sell at the flea market. And even if I sold them all for a dollar, then in turn I made money. But some of these will definitely be selling for more than that. So now here's the stuff that is in the box. So I found two wine glasses, which I might just try to sell as a, a set. I mean, they need to be cleaned. Here's another book. This is one of those like, like the outside's like kind of soft and squishy, but it looks brand new to me. Sweet Dreams, Minute Bedtime Stories. And then this book right here too. I've never really had that many books. And I don't know, this will brand new. Creating Website Bible. I mean, somebody wants that. And this thing was brand new. Think of poofs. I guess I'll think of poofs for a dollar, maybe even two dollars. Then there was a couple of these. There's three of them, and these are scented, like bags. I guess for use for like diapers. And there's three of them, and they all look filled. This one seems a little less filled, so maybe I won't sell this one. Like these squeeze exactly the same. This one squeezes different because they're supposed to have 60 pieces inside of them. But I could always take this one and use it for like trash around the house, and then sell these ones. I mean, who's gonna turn down tissue paper? I picked it up. And then Rob was going to see about this. There was two laptops in there. The other one it was a gateway, and he said the gateway is no longer. So there's an HP one in there. It even has one of these things for a mouse. The back has a little bit of wear and tear, but he's going to try to see if he could get it to work. We found one cord. We don't know if it's the cord for it, but he's gonna check it out and see if it does work or not. And we could always either sell it or keep it, you know, as a backup if we ever need uh, something. I don't know, I like this bowl. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or sell it. I just like the bowl, the way it was shaped. I just like it. <laughs> I even debated because I was like, Rob's gonna be like, why do you do, what's that new bowl? Like, we have enough bowls already, but I'm like, you know what? I wanted the bowls. <laughs> and then, you know, three line paper. I mean, and then even more computer paper. We got paper for days. And the good thing is we were getting kind of low on computer paper and it's one of those things you forget about it and you don't go purchase it. So then by the time you need it, you're like, crap, I don't have any paper. Now I got plenty of paper. Oh man, it got bent. So this is just a Christmas card, which I'm probably going to save myself. <laughs> Send out to somebody. Brand new toothbrush. Is it soft? Or soft? I'm using a medium girl, but I'll use it. I don't know. There's this, These are still in the thing. They're like, don't drink and drive sunglasses. I love these crappy sunglasses that are like, have weird stupid things on them that or whatever these are like like my wear on cruises kind of things so i'll keep that then we got a brand new conair brush for the amount of like weird like half used toiletries and stuff that were in there and then have like brand new stuff like this it's just weird and then this is brand new i mean johnson baby shampoo i can use this for bubble bath or you can even use it to wash paco or any sell the flea market there was a brand new roll of toilet paper. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Big thing of thumbtacks. A brand new thing of uh, band-aids. Not wrong with that. Then there was this brand new thing of soap by the Speckled Rooster. Soap. I'm not sure, maybe I'll give it to my mom or I'll sell it at the flea market. I don't use bar soap. And then a brand new suave brand new. Mine. <laughs> and then we have a couple more items in here. Uh, this is a DVD player, which we are going to see if it works, clean it up a little bit, and maybe sell it for like $2 at the flea market. Now keep in mind, I didn't dig through every little tiny nook and cre crevice because it was a lot. It was a lot. And when we had a time crunch at the end where it was like, if I want to get my money back, I had to be, be back by 5.30 and everything off the property by 5.30. It was like 5.15, we were dropping off one of the loads at the house, and we had one more load to grab. We were like banshees. We literally got the deposit back at 5.26. And there was so much stuff in the car that I was sitting in the front seat 
holding stuff on my lap, not even able to move because we had to get it in the car. <laughs> and then I got this. This looks nice. This is the last item. That's a nice little kind of clutch. It looks brand new to me. It's made in China. So that's what I got. Rob's going to start killing me soon because I have now in the session and it's something about this what can I get that I can resell or what the mystery could be inside that place. Now keep in mind, I didn't think there was any furniture in there and thank God that Rob has a small SUV because there was no way I could have got, there was like two twin cots, like the metal cots in there. Luckily they fit in his car. They would have never fit in my accent. So what I've learned, I've learned number one, if you're going to go to for, bid for an auction, do not bid on an auction that comes available the days you're working. Especially when you have 48 hours clean it out and both of those days you're working. So if I would have had a full day one day, things would have been a lot easier. Number two, probably rent one of those vans for a day and you could probably do it all in one day and not have to worry about shoving things in your car. That's probably a big one because I made so many trips to go back to my dumpster. Like there's no way I could do that. If I went one one that was like that place was about 16, 12, 16 minutes from my house. I had to go back each time to go drop stuff off at my dumpster. Imagine if it would have been 30 minutes away. I would have never been able to. I would have had a nurse break down and probably cried. <laughs> there were a couple moments when I almost did cry, but I made it through super sore. So that was a great workout for me. Now, will I do it again? Probably not anytime soon, but maybe, maybe like that was a five by 10. So that was a lot. Maybe if there was a five by five when I was positive there was no furniture, and it looked like only a little bit of stuff, and it was really, really cheap. Maybe. I really don't know. It's up in the air. So like I said before, I'm going to put down below uh, Storage Treasures if you want to check them out. Uh, just type in your... Well, you have to register, and it's free. And just type in your uh, zip code, and you can tell how many miles you want to go around you. And then you can get to bidding. But keep in mind, if you're the top bidder, you get it. And I really didn't want this one. And I was hoping all day somebody outbid me. And they did not. But you know what? I scored. I feel like I did score. This right here alone paid for it. If not, I might pay for more than it. I'm going to have to do some research. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, is this the video that makes you want to do it? Come on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.